Hello and welcome to the Irish Aesthete. Previously, I was talking about a portrait representing someone called Mrs. Philip Kindersley. Painted by Philip de Laszlo in 1931, its subject was otherwise known as Una Guinness. She was the youngest of three daughters born to Ernest and Chloe Guinness, the two elder being Eileen and Maureen. Together they would come to be known as the Golden Guinness Girls. Among the properties in which they spent time as children was Lugalaw in County Wicklow. At the time, the estate was being rented from the Wingfield family by Ernest, who used it to host shooting parties to which he invited friends from Dublin and further afield. These occasions captured in scrapbooks kept by the family. We're incredibly lucky that all this material survives. The Guinness girls were the Kardashians of their day. Their every move chronicled by the press and they loved all the attention. All three of them adored being photographed by the media, by friends, by family, and they all preserved these pictures carefully in large albums. By the mid-1930s, the three girls were ready to be launched into society and to find husbands for themselves. The first of them to be married was the eldest, Eileen. In 1927, she wed the Honourable Brinsley Plunkett, always known as Brinny. When Eileen got married, her father bought her a large estate on the outskirts of Dublin, the way kind parents will do. This was called Luttrellstown, and it had a very pretty castle as part of the property. Although the Plunkett marriage didn't last, Eileen held on to the place until 1983. Brinney was the younger brother of Terence, sixth Lord Plunkett, known as Teddy. Here he is with his wife Dorothy, incidentally the illegitimate daughter of the seventh Marcus of Londonderry and American actress Fanny Ward, and their eldest son Patrick, who would later serve as equerry to Queen Elizabeth for more than 20 years. Teddy Plunkett was a talented cartoonist who drew pictures of his new Guinness relatives. Here's his image of Maureen, who was well known for liking a drink, and Una, always the doe-eyed member of the family. And here's his sister-in-law Eileen and his brother, her husband Brinny. Una was the next to marry, at the age of just 19, to Philip Kindersley, the son of a wealthy banker. And in a couple of years' time, Maureen then married, her husband being Basil, Marquis of Dufferin and Arva. Although all three sisters duly became mothers, it didn't halt their fondness for appearing in the press, either singly or together. In June 1930, a year after her marriage, Una had her first child, a boy who she named Gay. Here she is photographed for the sketch soon after he was born. Pay attention to the dress that she's wearing in this photograph. You'll see it's the same dress as the one in which she was painted by de Laszlo the following year, indicating that the portrait was commissioned by Philip Kindersley to mark the birth of the couple's first child. The Kindersleys were very much part of the smart London set in London, and thanks to their respective parents' money, they don't appear to have suffered too badly from the consequences of the era's Great Depression. For weekend parties, they took a house in Surrey called Great Tangley Manor, filling it with their friends. This picture of Una, by then age 24, gives an idea of the relaxed nature of the Kindersleys' lives at the time. One difficulty between the couple was that while Una adored Ireland, Philip didn't really care for it, which means she didn't get to spend as much time in this country as she would have liked, and particularly she didn't get to Lugalaw very often. On the other hand, her two sisters did make the most of the house, particularly Eileen, even though her own home, Luttrellstown Castle, was just on the other side of Dublin. Like the other Guinness girls, Eileen loved to entertain, and one of the highlights of her social life during this period was having Hollywood film star Douglas Fairbanks Jr. come to stay. Here he is at Lugalore with a number of other friends, including Anthony Ashley Cooper, heir to the Earl of Shaftesbury, and his wife, 
the former lingerie model and dancer Sylvia Ashley Cooper. What might not be apparent in these pictures is that she was then having an affair with Douglas Fairbanks, who she married after being divorced by her husband. Her fourth husband, out of five by the way, was Clark Gable. Although she didn't get to spend much time in Ireland, Una did sometimes manage to persuade Philip Kindersley to come over and stay at Lugalore, although he declared it a godforsaken place. And indeed, they went to stay in other parts of the country, such as Castle McGarrett, a house in County Mayo that belonged to a good friend of the Guinnesses, Dominic Brown, 4th Lord Oranmore and Brown. Here he is in a cartoon drawn by Teddy Plunkett. And in the next episode, I'll tell you how Dominic Oranmore and Brown became more than just a friend of Una, and what were the consequences. I look forward to seeing you then. Thank you so much for watching The Irish Aesthete. Goodbye.